Hey, we're here with Ginger in the Desert Creations. I'm gonna be doing another installment of my screens project. I think I'm somewhere around halfway done. It's kind of tucked away in the recesses of the basement beyond the part of the the studio where I normally go. So I've kind of lost a little bit of count, but you know, there's like a dozen panels that need to be done, and so yeah. A new one must be made, and more new ones must be made. So let's go paint! So I have some leftover paint from Weirdly Watermelon, and I am going to use it to make just a flip cup, because I haven't done a flip cup in a while, I don't think. Who actually knows? No, we're in, well, should we use the silver? Should we let the silver stay a part of our party? I wasn't gonna, but maybe I should. Nah. There's not much of it, but we won't let it play. Now I feel sad. Creative Inspirations Emerald Green, Chroma Molten Metals Dorado Gold, Artist Loft Violet, Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, and Montmartre Black. I have failed to do the edging on this board, so give me a second. And magically, it is done. So, flippy cup. I want to start with a touch of the black. I liked what the black did with the green in the last pour, so I am going to let it do its thing again. Then I'm going to put the Dorado Gold. Here comes the Mojeto. And the Violet. going to be trouble, but we will ignore it, ignore it. There's probably a lot of black for this. I'm going to put the magenta. That's pretty much the rest of the magenta. Plop, plop some of that Dorado gold in there. Lots of Dorado gold. Purple, violet, whatever. More of the gold just to top this off. That finishes up our gold nicely. Let's flip it over. Ooh. Kind of did its own thing. That's okay. Drop it off. Woo! <laughs> I did that a little too energetically. That is going crazy. trying to preserve some of this lacing that's going on here because that I think looks the coolest out of this mess that I just created for myself. I'm going, if I don't use a flow extender I think I'm going to lose a lot of stuff that I like on here. So I am going to 
actually pop some of the uh, I make a guest appearance of my M1 here because it's quite watery and it makes stuff very liquid very quickly. And I like it that it's not water, but it is the consistency of water and it thins your paint so fast with very little amount. So it will make an excellent flow extender. I don't mind if I lose some of this because the very edge is not lighting my fire, but there is definitely stuff in here that I like and I don't want to overstretch it. Okay. That will be a good aid. Now, which way was I tipping? I'm going to pull it back towards this corner. Uh-oh. Huh. I've created a problem for myself. I think my flow extender is a little bit too extendy. So it is trying to encroach. Just means that I have to pour it more strategically, I guess. Here we go, we're almost ready to push that off and you see how it's moving like a wave instead of rolling over so you, a lot of that stuff stays on the surface. If you like what you see, you get to keep a lot of it. And yes, that is very cool. Okay, come back now to get these corners. I love it when these cells stripe out because they kind of get this very interesting bubble depth all their own. And we're over that corner. Okay. I did lose a little of that green and black in there that I had wanted to keep, but can't have everything. And that has pretty good coverage. I am going to get to keep some of those stripy cells and some of the 3D effect. It's going to look interesting when that gold dries because it looks milky yellow right now, but it will go shiny gold. So that might be quite interesting. I think this has a lot of like that graffiti effect look in it. This is a little messy and nondescript. I don't know if I should try to push some of it off or not. Let's give it a try. Ooh. I'm gonna pop my finger right at the edge so that I can tilt it a little more and it won't actually fall. It'll give it a ledge so it won't slide so much. I just pulled this down to try to open up this darker corner at the edge a little more. I think this is the way I'm going to leave it. I like the little wispy, there's this little wispiness that's going on with that gold over the black right there and kind of right here where it's the really thin black got in there, thinned it all out and sort of made this almost smokiness. Kind of cool. Yeah, it should look quite different when it's dry just because that gold transforms so much. Looks like 
the gold is sinking and sort of pebbling out a little bit down here, like I like. Um, I really like what this corner is doing. That's a little bit of awesome right there. Don't make the paint smoke. Damn it, that's a rule. Don't burn the paint. Come and have a look. I don't know what to call this one. Let's get closer. Look, little watermelon again. Just like in punk rock. I like the stripiness. I have preserved more of the stripiness of the cells. You see where it does multicolors, but it's in patches and sort of, yeah, I don't know. I like the way the colors mingle. Let's say that. I like what the purple's doing right in there. We got black is accenting nicely. And like I said, these like wispy, smoky sort of looks at the edge and just all kinds of stuff going on right here. And I love what this corner is doing. So it's too bad you can't just boom, there's my painting. <laughs> oh well. Good to have good parts in an overall good thing, right? Right, let's see how it dries. There it is, as promised, it dried very differently. But it kind of looks oddly beautiful. It it almost has like a paisley vibe to it, the way it reminds me of how the shapes are going. I don't know why. Because there's not really anything paisley about it, but it, it, it just wants to have that vibe. And check out what all that's doing in there. That is crazy. Ooh! Just jostle you around like crazy. Trying to move my light. Get good light so we can see what's going on over here. Cause that, that is really, really beautiful right in there. It's just nuts. And coming up with all the mixture of the colors. Did some nice blending. The little wispiness kind of got lost. Now that I'm doing finishing, I want to see what this looks like with a finish on it. But this is one of those that's going to go on my screen. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.